Audio is often considered the redheaded stepchild of DV filmmaking. It's treated like a second class citizen, given little serious attention or just ignored altogether. If you have bad sound, you have a bad project because bad sound will overshadow everything else you did. I want you to listen to this, rewind it, then listen to it again. Your audio is more important than your video. Your audio is more important than your video. I'm gonna say that again and put titles on the screen in giant fonts just in case you missed it. Your audio is more important than your video, period. Now for a lot of people, this might be a revelation, but allow me to show you what I mean. If you have a blurry video, a boom pole in the frame, a dirty lens, shaky amateur camera work, any type of video problem at all can be fixed in a number of ways. You can cut away to a close-up. You can cut to some B-roll of your subject matter. You can get experimental in post-production. Or guess what? You could just leave the video mistake as is. The audience will forgive a certain amount of visual mistakes as long as your content is strong and compelling. However, audio mistakes, audio mistakes, now that's a whole other story. Bad sound sabotages everything else, even compelling content. People can enjoy your compelling content if the sound is too awful to ignore. And if you have whack sound, you have a whack project. Allow me to demonstrate. When you make mistakes with audio, such as recording levels that are too low so that you can barely hear your subject's voice, you will have to crank up the levels when you edit. Now when you crank up the level of your subject's voice, you are also cranking up the level of the background noise. So there is a noticeable and annoying hiss in the audio that sounds a little like my voice does right now. Now on the flip side, if you record sound that is overmodulated or too loud, you're probably completely <laughs> because there's not really anything you can do to fix audio that was recorded overmodulated. Now, if you record sound that is too loud, you've just put your project on a one-way train to State Town. Audio that is over-modulated is distorted, rumbly, unintelligible, and generally makes your audience squirm in their seats. Now, you can tweak and turn down the level of that distorted and rumbly signal in post-production, but you will ultimately only end up with a softer, distorted sound. It will be equally distracting for anyone watching. Understand this, distorted audio is distorted audio and nothing and nobody can change it back to crisp, clean audio once it's been recorded that way. So for all those reasons, plus a bunch more I haven't even touched on, your audio is more important than your video and you need to get it right every time, all the time. So I'm gonna give you some simple audio guidelines that you can apply when shooting with any camera, at any budget, or any time. I want you to write these rules down, carry them around in your pocket, sleep with them under your pillow, meditate on them, whatever you gotta do to remember these things so that they become a regular habit every time you shoot. These are down and dirty DVs, five sound rules to live by. Check them out. Rule number one, get the mic as close as possible without getting in the shot. The most basic rule for recording dialogue 